hello and welcome to Serving with Sturmy. Today, we'll be making one of my favourites, Millionaire's Shortbread. Today, we're making a double bat into a bowl. We'll be mixing 110 grams brown sugar, two teaspoons of kosher salt. We actually got a hold of some. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract and 240 grams of melted butter. Then you need to whisk. Then you need to whisk all the ingredients until they are bind and smooth. Now add 240 grams of plain flour to the mixture. At this point, I would recommend you switch to a spatula. You will know if you have mixed it correctly, and then the shortbread will have the consistency of wet sand. Line a lasagna dish with tin foil both vertically and horizontally, and then line with butter. Now place the shortbread mix into the lasagna dish using wet fingers. At this point, I would recommend you start docking, or as it's also known, poking holes with a fork. Hey, and just look at that well. At this point, I would sprinkle some demerara sugar. Put your shortbread into a preheated oven at 170 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes. Into a pan goes 120 grams of butter, a whole can of condensed milk, 220 grams of brown sugar, a teaspoon of kosher salt, 164 grams of maple syrup, and 120 milliliters of, of double cream. And then whisk for about 15 to 20 minutes. You're aiming to get your caramel around 115 degrees. Once this happens, remove from the heat and spread evenly over the shortbread, attempting to remove any air bubbles. Once done, leave in the fridge to cool and now you can start tempering your chocolate. To temper your chocolate, you're going to need 8 ounces of dark chocolate. You're going to want to put aside 2 ounces of the chocolates and finely chop it. Take the remaining 6 ounces and place in a bowl over a low heat, but making sure that the chocolate never exceeds 50 degrees. Once melted, mix the chopped chocolate you put aside earlier, keep stirring in until you hit a temperature of around 27 degrees. Once this has been achieved, spread evenly over the layer of caramel and put in the fridge to set. And there you have it, your very own millionaire's shortbread.